quite the announcement. One year before an election, I mean, this this must this will turn into a major plank in your election campaign. Well, it's part of it's part of a set of initiatives that we've put in place. The province is doing very well. We're leading economic growth in the country, but not everybody's feeling it. And so, it's really important to me that uh, that people feel the impact in their lives. So, whether it's Creating 100,000 childcare spaces, or the uh, see you're in, you're going into well, campaign mode well, right there. There's the election well, no, campaign. Well, no, but 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 it's you know those those things started a long time ago. I mean, mm -hmm. the free tuition for young people that was in our last budget. Young people will feel that this September. So you know you can either argue that. Uh, elections happen the, in a whole term, but we've been doing these things to support people for a number of years. And yes, this is this is one part of helping people deal with their lives, making sure that they have a living wage, making sure that their workplaces reflect the realities. We we asked these commissioners to uh, to look at the changing workplaces two years ago. So we're now we're now taking their recommendations and implementing them. What really struck me today while you were making the announcement at 10 o'clock this morning is I felt like I was at a Stephen Harper campaign <laughs> stop where everything was carefully orchestrated. You had, you know, liberal friendly people in the crowd and people that you knew were going to be lobbing softball questions at you. It was well, it was very orchestrated, very campaign style. Well, um, I mean, I you know, it's your prerogative to see it that way. The, the reality is the people who are in that room are people who have been advocating for changes to uh, labor laws and uh, doing this workplace review for some time. And, you know, I'm sure you noticed that there were people wearing their T-shirts, the $15 uh, dollar minimum wage. I mean, there were people in that room who have been advocates for many, many years. There were also small business owners in that room who, uh, who have already implemented some of these changes and are seeing the benefits of retaining their their, uh, their employees and a stable workplace. Are you outmaneuvering Andrea Horvath yet again with this move today? I hope what we're doing is helping people to be able to look after themselves and to look after their families in the richest province in the country. But you're also a strategic politician and it seems that you are carefully orchestrating your re-election campaign knowing that you have to work really hard this time round. I know you did every time, but with the polls, you are being really strategic, and I can see it almost as well with how you handled the road tolls with John Tory. It seems that you need the 905, and you've recognized that, so you're going to, you know, appeal to them. So Everything seems very, very carefully <laughs> strategic right now. Well, again, you. You will do that analysis. The pundits will, uh, they will weigh in. What I'm doing is working to respond to what people need in the province. There are people working in, I, I used the example this morning of, you know, a woman who's been laid off from a, a plant and who is working in a drive through window. She's got uh, a child at home and she needs to be able to earn a living wage. That's who we're working to help and you know those young kids who are going to get uh, who are going to get free medication that's about their future so we're we're putting in place supports for people recognizing the needs that they are uh, they're dealing with what about small business though i mean the chamber of commerce came out very strong saying this is going to be very detrimental to small business well and and again we will work with small business as we have uh, the chamber of commerce has been very very helpful on so many different files and we'll continue to work with them i will recognize you give some a break i recognize that small business needs supports we've already said that we will you know we'll look at business fees we'll look at the supports that uh, that are in place and whether they're adequate for a small business but we also know that we're competing with New York we're competing with San Francisco they're moving to a $15 minimum wage they are they are attracting great How can we make sure business fees and some of the costs that they have on their payroll uh, are, uh, are uh, reasonable? So we're going to work with the Chamber. Um, we're, we're phasing in the increase on minimum wage. We were scheduled to have a, an increase as of this October. We're waiving that and moving to January 1st. So we'll work with small business in that period. I want to talk to you now about what I call your greatest Achilles heel, which is hydro. And your government took quite a hit last week with the Financial Accountability Office saying that, you know, short-term gain for long-term pain and you're 
basically spending a lot of money to soften the hydro bills that are only going to skyrocket uh, in seven years. Are you buying votes similar to the gas plant scandal? Is they, I mean, it looks exactly the same. The gas plant scandal, you canceled them to save some votes. Are you doing the same thing and it's going to cost voters a lot of money? So people in this province uh, right now are paying for investments that we made in the electricity system to make it clean, to make it reliable. It wasn't reliable in 2003 when we came into office under the previous Premier. Uh, we had to make those investments and, you know, previous governments had not. Governments of all stripes had not made the investments in the electricity system that needed to be made. It's a file so that's we been badly mismanaged badly for, for decades. Decades. But decades. I'm not letting you off the hook. No, no, on that fair either. enough. And I'm coming and I'm coming to the answer because we had to make those investments. But that doesn't mean that an asset that is going to be in place for 30, 35 years um, at, in its current state has to be paid for right now. And I was very upfront when I made the announcement on uh, reducing people's hydro bills that we understand that when you mortgage, when you pay over a period of time, you do pay more. You pay more because you can't afford to, to pay for it all at once. But and it's so billions that's more. Well, but it's a it's a multi billion dollar system. That's the that's the money that we are dealing in. But it's also it only is, going to be a temporary reprieve premier. The, well, the, the rates are going to go up. In well, a few years. so well that's but that's that's the paying for it as we go over time. But the other missing piece here is that the long-term energy plan, the LTEP, is being developed right now. And the, uh, the financial accountability officer had one set of, uh, of information. We're bringing out the long-term energy plan and we will be able to talk about how we're going to work to take more costs out of the system. I recognize that this is a challenge for people across the province, but the immediate challenge is that their electricity bills and their distribution charges, because in rural and remote areas where they will see up to a 40 to 50 percent reduction, those costs need to be taken down because people can't bear them. Last question because Jennifer over there is giving me the wrap. When are you going to end the feud with Mayor John Tory? He was very disappointed by the budget. He's already stinging over road tools. What are you going to do to appease the mayor? I saw John Tory at the World Partnership Walk this weekend. We're on very good terms. We know that we need to continue to work together. I've heard him say that a number of times since, uh, since the budget. I know there's, there have been some disagreements. We'll continue to work together. Are you going to help him on housing? Well, we are, you know, we are already putting millions of dollars. Well, yeah, we, but it was downloaded onto the city no, but by, here's the, by the, a previous government. Well, and we are, we recognize that and we are supporting uh, what he is trying to do in housing. We, we will continue to work with him. We're working on retrofits. We are working on uh, building new affordable housing mm -hmm. and, you know, we'll continue, we'll continue to work with him. Do you want him to raise taxes, property taxes? You'll to have pay to for talk, himself? you'll have to talk no, to him about that. No, but do you want him to raise property taxes? You'll have taxes. to talk to him about that. All right. Okay. Premier, thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Cynthia.